In this screencast, I'd like to show you how to create a custom search engine that you can embed in your blog or wiki. And this search engine can be on any topic. It's very useful when your students are doing research. To start out, we're going to go to Google and just type in Google custom search. Should be the first entry there. To use this tool, you will need a Google account, which is free and very easy to create. Um, if you need to create an account, um, you can do so by clicking this button here. I'm going to go ahead and log in using mine so I can show you how to use this tool. I'll be taken to this screen here, which gives us the first options. Uh, the first thing we need to do is give our um, custom search engine a name, and I'm going to choose one on uh, William Shakespeare. So I'm just going to call this um, William Shakespeare, and this is a search engine. Dedicated to research on Shakespeare. I'll choose English, and um, you have a couple options here. And depending on what your purpose is, you want to choose differently. You can either use this web, this custom search engine, to only search the websites you specify, or if you choose the second option, it will give a higher priority to the websites that you specify. So I'll leave that up to you. Uh, for now, I'm going to choose only the sites that I specify. And then in this box down here, this is where you will come up with a list of what you think are good websites that are useful uh, for searching. And you will paste, um, copy and paste those websites in there. Now, I've already done this, so I'm gonna just going to um, copy sites that I've saved, paste them in the box. And I want to draw your attention to this uh, tip um, pull down right here where you have a couple of advanced options if you want to search the entire domain or a specific page within that domain. So I would recommend reading through those um, if you want to get uh, very specific. But for right now we'll just leave it at that. And um, we're all done. We have, we have read and agreed. Go to the next step. And here's a spot where we can actually test our search engine. So it's really that easy. There's a couple of things we can do still. Let me just try a simple search, Hamlet. And so um, these are the results that are being pulled from the sites that I specified. You can see there's a whole bunch there. If you get something weird in here, this is where you would go back and delete or change the websites that you put in. Um, that looks good. So we're going to click Finish. And here you can see these are the search engines that I've created. I had a previous one, Genetics in the News. I'm going to go ahead and going to go into the control panel for the Shakespeare search engine and um, these are the things that we just edited but we also have some uh, additional options such as um, look and feel and depending on where uh, you will be using this search engine you'll want to change this as well. Um, I'm going to embed my search box into my class wiki so I'm going to use an iframe which will enable me to do that and you can have different color options here. I like this uh, shiny one myself and at the bottom you can see what it will look like. And then I'm going to say get code and I'm going to get two boxes and this is a very important step. The first box is for the actual search box that you'll need to embed. The second um, box with code in it is for the results of the search page and we will need to embed both of these. I'm going to start with the search box, just clicking in it. I'm going to copy all of the text. I'm going to go to my wiki, and I've got my page set up here, my Shakespeare page. I'm using wiki spaces. This step will be a little bit different depending on what you're using. Um, do this in a blog. Uh, virtually any website will enable you to do this. I'm going to go up here to the embed widget button, click on other and then just paste in my code, hit save, and I've got this little code here which will turn into a search box eventually. Um, now it's very important that before I save this that I also put in the search results code. So I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to copy it, go back to the wiki, embed another widget, paste that, Save it. 
And I have um, two lines of text here. And when I click Save, they will turn into uh, a search box. So here you see I've saved my page, and here's my custom search box. And if I click in there, type in Hamlet, the search results will um, show up right below uh, the box. The neat thing about this is that students are staying on the same page. They're still within the wiki, um, so it's familiar territory. Uh, they don't have to go too far. So this is one option. You can use that tool to embed the search box and results page in your blog or wiki. There is another option, and that is uh, simply to use the um, search engine that you created on a Google uh, site. And if I just click on the search engine, click on William Shakespeare, I'll be taken to this page and I can do the exact same thing if I type in Hamlet. Here's all my results. This is a Google page. It's not you know, specific to my classroom. Um, to use this, you would simply distribute the web address up the top here. See, it's really long and complicated, so it would be something you would definitely want to link to. You wouldn't want students to type that in. This can be a very useful um, tool, the custom search engine, for projects with younger students where you want to um, kind of guide where they're getting their research from, um, or even older students if you want them to research a very specific topic or to use only academic sites or only government sites, something like that can really um, simplify things uh, for them. It's also got some built-in collaboration that I'll just show you really briefly. I'm going to edit the search engine and um, I'm in the control panel here. If we go down uh, to collaboration here, I can actually share this custom search engine with someone else, maybe another teacher, and he, she would be able to add or subtract websites from the list. So you could collaborate on this together and a, a group of teachers could come up with a really, really good um, search website, uh, search engine for um, a specific topic that they could use together. So this is a really simple tool, really easy to use, um, can be really useful for the classroom.